All right, hello everyone. I'm just gonna do this quick video um, for those of you that are still having trouble finding the newsletter. Um, again, the newsletter is where all information that you need pertaining to faith formation is gonna be found. Now, ideally, I'm trying to send those to your email inbox, but because Flock Notes, which is the program that generates that newsletter for me when I put stuff in, it allows me to do all that fancy stuff like adding um, videos and things just to make your life easier um, in theory, just to be able to scroll down and find what you need. The newsletter is really very much like Faith Formation Google Classroom, right? It's just where everything is at so that you don't have to worry about it. The problem is, for some reason, and we cannot figure this out and we're struggling to figure out why, um, some of your servers, when I send it, it is perceiving it as spam and just putting it into spam boxes or somehow it's not getting to your inbox. And even after a while, some people that were getting it, for some reason, have started not getting it. So we're not sure exactly what's happening. And because I don't want to cause stress, I have got it on the web page for Queen of Peace and St. Thomas More for you to just be able to access it no matter what, whether it's in your inbox or not. You'll always be able to find it. So if you're like, oh no, it's Faith Formation Night and I don't know what to do. Here's where to do. Here's where to find it. Let's walk through it together. Okay? All right. This, you're going to go to your web server, whatever it is. Okay? Google, Chrome, whatever. Go up here and you're going to click www.olqp stm.com okay now for me it pops up because I'm on it all the time but you just go ahead and click that and it's going to bring you to the OLQP stm.com web page now the reason this isn't on the Lords and St. Anne's is because we are in the process of switching a lot of things on the web for them so there's old information that's still up there there's things that aren't synced with this yet we are working on it, but for our purposes right now, because this is up and running and this is where it's at, just head on over here. It doesn't mean that you have to be registered at our parishes or anything like that. This is just because this is the one that's up and running at the moment, okay? You're going to click on Faith Formation, and you're going to go down to Newsletter. Boom, right? The latest newsletter is always going to be the first one, okay? Okay. So as you can see, I corrected it this week. I had some information that needed to be corrected. The minute I correct it, it goes right to this web page. So you can always find the latest, but you have to click on it. Don't click over here. Over here will give you the schedule. Okay, that'll tell you this week is a Zoom, this week is home study. But the actual assignments are found in the newsletter. And I don't think I was making that clear. So I had a lot of people saying, this is only pulling up a schedule. So you have to click on the most recent newsletter. Okay? Once that opens, that gives you everything you need to know. You just have to scroll down. Okay? It's going to tell you the date. It's going to have a little message from me where the book pickup information this week is. There's always going to be a video from me saying, hey, here's what's going on. Here's what the questions are. In fact, this is where this video is going to go this week as well, in addition to an email to all of you. And then you scroll down and you will find your classroom. Okay, so those of us that met last night, you all just type in that meeting ID and passcode. I don't have it as a link because not everybody is able to get it that way, I found. So when you go into Zoom, however you go into Zoom, you're going to type in the meeting ID and the passcode. All right. So that's why I didn't make it a link from here. Um, it's just easier for everyone to be able to just type in the ID and the passcode so that I know for sure everybody, regardless of what they're using, is able to get on. All right. So that's where you're going to find your information. Now, grades six and seven this past week had home study. So they have their assignments right in here. So I said, hey, guys, I want you to read chapter one, pages one to six, do the exercises in the chapter review. And also, here's a really cool video that follows up what we read this week. 
Now, not everybody does the videos, but some people do. Because things happen <clears throat> so quickly, um, and web pages, this was the fastest way I could update to get information out. The newsletter, for us, things are like day to day, right? So this is where you're always gonna be able to find what you're looking for. Okay, here's parent signups. People had questions about the signups. Um, you're just gonna wanna click in here to sign up for stuff. When you sign up, it instantly sends me an email and says, hey, so-and-so signed up to do this, okay? So you see that? It says, okay, you're in. Now that's gonna send me an email. It's gonna come to my email inbox that tells me, hey, Jen signed up to do the All Saints celebration. Um, that's gonna let me know that you signed up for it, okay? That's the beauty of flock notes. That's why we use flock notes because this all communicates to my email at any given time. Now you'll see at the top, this tells me that I sent out 227. It'll also tell me who opened it and how it got accessed. So for all the people that didn't, this is what's been telling me, okay, it's either coming to spam boxes or they're not opening it. So when I tell you I can see that I sent it to you, I really truly can, but it means that somehow on your end it's not being received or it's getting sent somewhere else. So I know sometimes people say, I know that it's not coming to me, it's not coming to me, and that's when I can go in and check, and it's gonna tell me exactly who has been able to open it and who hasn't. It doesn't always tell me why. <laughs> so if I have the incorrect email, it sends me a big red flag. If I have the correct email, but it's going somewhere in cyberspace, then it stays gray like this. Then I know something's going on. So that's why if it's not coming to your inbox, you just go to this website um, like I showed you here. Okay, that's just is to alleviate all doubt. So remember, olqpstm.com, faith formation, newsletter schedules, always the one at the top. Now, if you miss a week and you want to scroll back and say, oh, that came out. Now, as you can see, I've been sending out a weekly newsletter actually since July, but we keep the last seven or so, all right, the past month or, or more. So if you want to say, oh, what, what did she say? And somebody says, oh, that was back in September. Okay, well, then you can check the September newsletter and say, well, what was going on in September? Oh, there's a book pickup. Oh, there's the brochure. Okay, so you can always go back and look at previous information and see if you missed something. Okay, and then if you still don't find what you're looking for, you can always shoot me an email. It does take me a while to get through all my emails. So I just want you to know that. Okay, so just be patient with me. Um, this week alone, I had 441 emails. So sometimes it takes me a little while. So that's why I say the more you can be able to find the answers for yourself, then you're not waiting on me um, to get to you because sometimes it does take me a long time to get through all those emails. And then sometimes I've already um, given the answers right in here and then you don't need to wait for me. That's just how I'm handling being in four places at once. Okay? All right, hopefully I've empowered you to be able to find your what you're looking for. Um, if you still have questions about it, though, like I said, you know, you can shoot me an email and I will eventually get back to you. Um, but there you have it. Okay, hopefully that solves a lot of problems and doesn't create more. I'll keep this video up on the newsletter for a while just so that um, for those of you that really need to refer back to it, you can. And there you have it. All right. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.